And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. I'm in the Mazer kitchen with David and Jordan from Garfrerick's Cafe, a farm to table restaurant in Oxford, Alabama. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. We're happy to be here. I'm glad you're here. So we were talking during commercial break. Your last name is Dutch. Yes. But it sounds German to me. It's always <laughs> sounded German to me too. <laughs> I have to believe my parents. They told me it's Dutch. <laughs> so was that hard growing up with the, with that long name when you were a kid? Yes, it was. Uh, especially having to spell it, you know, a lot. But yes. I finally learned how. Yeah, and you <laughs> learn how Garfrerix, it's a really a beautiful name. We're talking about all the different things you guys do because it's the whole farm to table concept. Tell me a little bit about that and how it works for your business. Okay. Well, we have our own farm and we do a lot of our own produce growing at the farm. And Jordan and some of the other chefs like to come down and work the farm on occasion. And we've got arugula here today from our farm. And uh, we're going to be making some pesto from that. Okay. And we're going to serve it with uh, some wild striped bass and uh, some butternut squash. And so we're going to make a nice sauce from citrus over here and reduce it. With the grapefruit. So what you don't grow from your own farm, you then buy from other local farmers? That's right. We, we buy as much as we can local, you know, from the uh, farmers in the area and our own and, you know, farmers markets and, and things like that. Okay, mm -hmm. got you. And a lot of it's organic. Yes. We grow using organic methods on our farm, and a lot of the farms that we buy from are organic. Mm -hmm. Very nice. They've been in business since 2008, by the way. So let's start to cook, and we'll talk more about your business as we cook. Where do we begin? Okay. Jordan is going to begin by making a rustic pesto from the arugula. Arugula is a lettuce. Uh, it's got kind of a nutty flavor to it. So we've got some baby arugula leaves. This is not a classic pesto that has nuts and cheese in it. This is a just a rustic thing with, uh, with the uh, arugula chopped up and some garlic and some olive oil, salt and pepper. Okay. So while it's not that classic pesto with the cheese and the nuts in it, I think it's a lot fresher and it, it lets the flavor of the arugula kind of sing its own song. I love watching a sous chef do this because I, I don't know, I think it's just magical to watch how fast they chop that stuff <laughs> and keep their fingers safe at the same time. Sometimes. Sometimes, <laughs> right? Yeah. 2008, how has the business grown since then? It's grown uh, a lot. It's grown slowly, as every solid business tends to do. It's grown slowly. We've gained uh, a lot of clientele. A lot of business travelers come, come visit us uh, in that area. You know, you can go to TripAdvisor or other travel sites and mm -hmm. get reviews on restaurants and hotels, and that's helped us a lot get business from uh, travelers. And where exactly are you located? We're about a mile off of Interstate 20 okay. uh, to the north okay. uh, near the uh, Quintard Mall. In okay. Oxford. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fairly easy to find then. Yeah. Yeah. And Cafe, what about your hours? We're open for lunch. Um, uh, Tuesday through Friday and also Sunday okay. we do a, a lunch buffet Okay. and then we're open for dinner um, Monday through Saturday. Monday through Saturday as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Now she's adding some olive oil to this pesto I think. Yes, that's right. Okay, got you. Olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic and just uh, mincing up the arugula so that it's it's a really fresh product It's you know it's not uh, pre-prepared so that'll have a lot of flavor. Say you can don't get any fresher than that. That's right. Now do you do any catering or any events? We do. We, we cater a lot. We cater uh, on-site. We cater anywhere. We've, we've traveled a lot to do catering so we, we love being part of someone's special event you know. So she's doing that. We've got the citrus here I see. You've got the grapefruits already cut up. Got them cut in half, uh, grapefruits, oranges, and a lemon. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze those and take the juice and then reduce it. And that's going to be the sauce for our fish. Do you want to start that? Yeah, I can few, start that. a few seconds left. Okay, and then she's going to do the butternut squash, get that roasting. And uh, that'll be our fish plate when we come back. Can you hold that up for viewers to see? The, it's already cut up, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay, so how do you make it look like that? Because I can't seem to ever get that look. This is what we're going to do. Um, so it's very difficult to peel these. Yes. Um, but you're just going to peel See. it. Oh, okay. You peel the whole thing like a carrot, essentially. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then you cube it. That's very pretty. So say we're going to just I'll cut it off with this. And 
Okay. Just to save time here. Okay, got you. Instead of peeling. You're doing that. So either way, whatever mm -hmm. you prefer. Right. If you're oh. in a hurry, you're, you know, you can do that. And then we're just going to cut it in little, kind of like little planks here. That's how it's done. And then um, we've uh, cooked this off a little bit. Yeah. Um, so um, it's a process blanching. And so we'll cook it until it's almost like fork tender and then okay. shock it in a nice bath. Okay. Um, and then that's how we've got this ready to go, and we're going to roast that here in a little bit. Okay, when we come back, we're going to work on the, uh, the the juice here, the sauce, and roasting that, correct? That's correct. And we're also going to do a couple things with corn. Okay. And we'll talk about, we're going to make some cornbread and some cream corn and cornbread salad. It's a busy day in the kitchen <laughs> with David and Jordan. Thank you so much. We'll